What's up, everybody? Afro Joe here with my homegirl, so dear stick. Hey. Uh, you see this ugly motherfucker looking like a bald-headed grizzly bear? Kind of, he kind of looks like that dude off of Drew Carey. Uh, <laughs> not. He does not me. Yeah, he look like, what's that guy? Oh, he, yeah, I don't know, I don't remember him, but he talks like. Yeah. Like, like yeah, like he is. Like hi everybody. Yeah, he got that long nose tall and got yeah, he looks like that good guy off of Drew Carey or showed up in certain episodes of shows. Mm hmm He was in the uh he was in the movies what was it, Devil's Reject. Yeah. He looked like that dude. But this guy's name is James the Preacher. He's not a preacher, he just some digging a booty ass fucker trying to force his religion out on people, talking about Women shouldn't have jobs. Women shouldn't wear pants. Women shouldn't have an education. Women shouldn't vote. Women should stay at home and take care of the kids and wash the toilet bowl and clean house. He said the same thing about kids. Kids shouldn't have a good education. He wants his kids to be dumb as hell. He beats his wife. He beats his kids. His kids is dumber than a box of rocks. Talk smack about goth people. And I say this like this. I like goth women because I think goth women are pretty sexy. Okay. I don't have a problem with goth people because, hey, man, they kick ass in the way. And so, they're not all devil worshippers. There's Christians that are goth. Yeah. They're Christian. I love goth people. They cool people because they're interesting. To me, I'm a weird person. Yeah, I'm Afro Joe the Wookiee. Sadistic, she's a goth. Mm-hmm. And she's my friend. I love goth women because they fine. When they wear their black makeup and pale skin, mm -hmm, you better work it. <laughs> you better not be, uh, if you think. He uh, hates on gays and lesbians yeah, too. Yeah, I don't hate gays and lesbians, but this guy hates on gays and lesbians. This James the Preacher. <laughs> now, they say, what, last week his page, he's got his YouTube page got taken down permanently. Mm-hmm. What was it? What was his uh page called? Exposing the Colts was his page, YouTube page. Uh-uh. He might took it down, but he made another one. His page is called False Gospel Mocker. I shit you not, he's got a page channel called False Gospel Marker. Mocker. And to me, this guy is, is one of the motherfuckers that believes things should go back the way it was back in back in the day when women stayed at home. Women wore skirts and dresses. No, they wore dresses. They ain't wear skirts. They wore dresses. And he wants kids to do the same. Stay at home. Not have an education. And he wants... He talks shit about black folks and Latinos and Another, right. yeah, he's a right, like, and he's sexist too. Yeah, he is a sexist, racist piece of shit. And he talks about God and he keeps twisting the Bible's words about how our oh, women shouldn't do this, women shouldn't do that. Well, in the Bible, it says, Men who don't work don't eat. See what I'm saying? Men that don't work don't eat. So he's not keeping up. He keeps twisting, like I said, keep twisting the Bible. So he goes, he makes false accusations about the Bible. He th talks about God hates gays, God hates blacks, God hates minorities, God hates goth, God hates everybody. If you're not a Christian, then you're going to die in burning hell. And he keeps talking about how, what else he keeps talking about? You just use a bunch of retarded bullshit. Like, there's some retarded people from, you know, that makes fun of them, but it's just, like, you know, we have every right to do what the fuck we want, as long as we're not hurting anybody. We can vote. But you know what? We're Americans, you know. Not just the men, it's us women, too. We have a right, you know, we have a right to vote. You know, even though our government is a fucking joke. You know, we have a right to um, get an education and um, spend for ourselves. 
Because you know what? We don't need a man to take care of us. We don't. We don't need a man. We are independent women. And, you know. Well, I agree with you on that one. But there are some women that actually rely on a man. But I agree. That's because they're a bunch of mooching bitches, is what they are. Yeah. Like me, you know, the whole time I was married, I was locked in my house because my cousin is an evil motherfucker. You know, wouldn't even hardly let me take our son for walks. So, and he's an atheist too, so I don't even want to mention that. But like, James the preacher to say that um. All women should be basically um, slaves. slaves in their own home by cleaning up and all that shit. Yeah, you know, you know, men and women need to clean. Not just the women, but the men. You know, we're not chills fucking hoes. No. Oh. It's like, it, and plus he talks about running for president saying he's going to take everybody's freedom of speech away. He says he's going to make a law where Christians doesn't hate on other Christians. If he run, if it ran his way, blacks, Latinos, any other minority except for whites and Christians will be in the cotton field again, picking cotton. And it's stupid. He'll make... He ain't telling me what to do. Like, nobody going to vote for him anyway because he's a piece of shit believes in something that's not true or real. His poor children and wife. Yeah, I feel bad for his kids and wife because he beats his wife and kids. Mm -hmm. Talks about oh, talks about women shouldn't love sports. Hey man, they can love anything they fucking want. If a woman wants to love another woman, God gave her that freedom to love. In the Bible, it doesn't talk about hate. No way it kind of does. He says you should not hate, but dislike their actions. Hate is an evil word. So when he talks about God, God hates. You're just saying God hates everybody. God doesn't hate nobody. He loves everybody. It's just he wants people to do the right thing. Yeah, people are going to see him, but you got to repent. But you can't sit up there and speak for everybody on this earth. You can't sit up there and push religion off on people. Because that's the worst thing to do is push your religion off on people. I'm not going to walk up to a Muslim and say, you should not believe in Elijah Muhammad. Or another mother, another Muslim saying, you shouldn't believe in Buddha. Not Buddha, but uh, Allah. I'm not going to walk up to a person that believes in Buddha. I'm not going to go up to a Jew said you should not believe in uh, what's his name Abraham mm -hmm. I'm not going to walk up to nobody and say you should be loving on God God has many different names Jesus has many different names it's all about learning getting the message from the Bible not getting a message from a racist, sexist piece of shit that doesn't know a damn thing. Like Westboro Baptist Church people. I don't know who's worse, him or them, or both. It's both. Because if he preaches at a church with all this hatred, that means they're both equally worse than the next. See, it's going, look, I'll tell you this, man. People like him... They set themselves up to fall quickly. Mm -hmm. Like, because I tell you this, there's been people that did that, they actually got killed over what they said. He can't, like, one thing is he's not even a shit talker. He's more of a religion shit talker. You got many. You know, he can, he can believe what he wants to believe, but to go out and heckle innocent people because you have a problem with them and because you think that God is talking to you and telling you that it's wrong for so-and-so to like have a cuss word on your shirt or for a woman to have their hair short alright not all women with short hair are lesbians and you can believe whatever you want to believe but to don't force it down someone's throat 
Because we don't want to hear it. Now, I tell you this, Rosie O'Donnell's got long hair, and she's a lesbian. Mm -hmm. See, not all women with short hair is lesbian. Like I just mentioned, Rosie O'Donnell is a lesbian. She got long hair. Ellen, before she even had a talk show, she had long hair, and she was a lesbian. Before she even came out of the closet. Before, she, yeah, she had long hair, but she was a lesbian. See, you just can't put it. Like, uh, let's see who else. Uh, who else is that? I forgot who. Um, um, the um, the singer. Linda Perry, that song that, um, what's going on song in the 90s? Yeah. The Dreadlocks. She's a lesbian because she's dating, um, the woman who played Darlene Owl, and she's got long hair, too. Yeah. So. The girl that played Darlene off Rose, and she's got long hair, and she's gay. Man, you just can't sit there and say all lesbians with short hair is gay. There's actually women that's bald-headed that are gay, and there's some women that that's bald, also bald-headed, and she, and straight. He's just fucking clueless. He's 51 years old preaching this shit. He's 51 years old. Talking about you should hate gays. I don't hate a gay person. I embrace the gay people. I used to, I'm here and I'm clear. He used to bitch. I'll tell you this. I used to work with gay people. I used to smoke weed with gay people. Yes, back in the day I did smoke. I used to smoke with gay people. Never had a problem with them. If we can sit there and have a conversation and smoke a blunt, then we got something in common. We love to smoke the weed. There is no difference between who straight, who gay, who black, who white. We all bleed the same color of blood. Red. <gasps> I think I found it. Brian, I think no. No, but, uh, no I was trying to figure out who that guy was, but it's not Ryan's style. You know, I don't remember his name. Yeah, but he looks like that guy off the, 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 the that tall guy that's over a uh, little heavy set, wears the glasses. Hey, it's like this, talks like this. Something like that. It's like, yeah, we talk like this, and yeah, I got Amazon Drew Carey and Devil's Rejects. If you look at the movie Devil Rejects, he he's some roadie that goes around with this country music star, and they stop at a hotel. He's that big guy with the glasses, though, so yeah. But, yeah, I know who you're talking about. I'm trying to look him up right now because the name's annoying me. But, like I said, man, you just can't push your religion off on people. There's gay Christians, and he don't even know what gay Christians. There's transgender Christians. There's black Christians. There's white Christians. There's Asian Christians. Do you know Brody's name in that movie? Uh, no. I remember the name in the But you just can't, like I said, you can't sit there and say. <gasps> Brian Poston. Brian what? Brian Poston. Pa Brian Poston? Poston. You saying Austin or Poston? Poston. Poston. I can't do well. My child's There. What's your name? Okay. Name is Brian. Hey, oh. Hey. Oh, yeah. Sure, everybody. Oh, my God, he actually does like him. You see? I told you he looks like two. Oh, my fucking God, he does. <laughs> Poor Brian. I would be so ashamed. I'd have a face look. So I'd be in the second crap fucking dumbass Jesus lover that was a retard. I mean, no, I, I guarantee you Jesus is ashamed that Preacher James Worship uh, man, if I was God, man, look, if God, look, I'll tell you this, if God hated, yeah, if God hated gays, don't you think he would have wiped them off from the face of the earth? That'd be one thing God would have did if he hated gays that much. What do you think? Cause that's how it is. You do not sit up there and and, <laughs> and you do not sit up there and just say all this stuff because you hate certain kinds of people. I don't hate nobody. I just dislike sort dislike what they do. Like I don't agree with everything, but 
I don't agree with everything that what people does, but I can't hate. You can't hate on somebody. It's like hating on yourself. I hate people I hate that. Look, I don't hate them. What I do, what I dislike, is for a man to push religion off on people and sit there and. Oh, black boy, white boy, do good, you you get to do it, put do it. He needs to pull the dick out of his mouth and his ass and grow the fuck up. And be a real. I think he's too far gone gone in his mind to grow the fuck up. I think he's brainwashed himself. Yeah, something. I think somebody raped his ass or something. Put someone put too much shit in his Kool Aid. Yeah, they put some of that poison in his Kool Aid. That'd be, that'd be kind of funny if somebody said that. Okay, Brian Post. He looks like this guy. He might say, like, that's the picture. He might look like, he looks like him. I, I feel, gaff for this, feel bad for this actor because this guy looks just like him. He does. <laughs> Sa same glasses frame. Same kind of like, yeah, same with the beard, but his is shorter. He looks just like him. I, like, I feel bad for this actor, Brian Posted. But this guy is so full of shit. He wants to sit up there and try to push religion off on God's people. Like, you can't push religion off on God's people. Different. God is Apparently, not. he's got a shitload of YouTube names. He's got False Gospel Walker 70, False Gospel Walker 31. Yeah, and I will post the link to his his channel on this video. But I can say y'all, I like for real, man. God, I, I'm gonna say it like this. Even his wife, I seen a video where the people was leaving comments on, and one guy posted that his wife was talking about how they ate a cat. Mhm. Mm like I gotta stand eating. Oh, and on his new account, he uh, disabled the comments. Yeah, he disabled the comments, so you really can't... Oh, someone too afraid and pussy to know what a fucking douchebag you really fucking yeah. are. I, I, like, I don't see why YouTube keeps letting this guy come on. They can't stop him, dude. Yeah. Like my stalker. They can delete all of her shit, but she can come back. You know, you can't get rid of fucking douchebag that has no business on the computer. Yeah, like, I, I, I just can't, I just don't get this, man, where this guy is just talking all this shit about pe <laughs> people he don't even know. You can probably go sit there and say, well, you've done videos about people, like, well, fat boy, get down. He's a fat piece of shit. He's a racist. He's a racist too. He said, like people set themselves up to fall, and I always, yeah. and I always catch that. I always catch them fall, setting themselves up to fall down. And like you say, watch what you say, say and do. do. Yeah, I always say, watch what you say and do over the internet because whatever you post on the internet is gonna be there forever. So that means if you post hate, hatred video, somebody can easily set you up. Easily set this man up. For embarrassment. Or for embarrassment or for something else. This man can catch a case. Because his videos pose as hatred. Like I said, I go to church. I go to church. I believe in God. I believe in Jesus. And after I get out of church, I leave the church thing at the church. I just don't bring it out to the... Like, like to say, you got to learn how to separate certain things out your life. What you what you learn in church, you learn it in church. You pray at home, but you leave the church learning at the church. See what I'm saying? You can read the Bible at home and at church, but you leave it at home in church. You do not break James it. Lindman is his name. Yeah, James Lindman. L Y M A N. N. She went on in. Oh yeah. And I call him D I C K I. <laughs> D-I-C-K-I-N-B Ah, uh, shit, I'm fucking up. D-I-C-K D-A 
B O O T Y A S S dick in the booty ass. I never met I ain't never seen I've heard I've seen fuckers like him. And they change just like that overnight because they realize they cannot sit there and push this shit on them on certain people. But now this guy is so far gone that there is no way he can come back. He's still gonna sit there and preach. Oh, I think he he's still gonna push that whole shit. He, he gonna probably say black folks need to go back in the cotton field and pick the cotton. <laughs> so, I'm not laughing at that song. I'm but, playing Star Trek on Google. <laughs> that's, that's the worst, but like I said, man, I just can't hate on people. Like I said, man, I love I love goth women. They're fine. I love, if you're a goth woman, and I think you find this motherfucker, hey, what's up, then? If you're an emo woman, and you are, like, if you're an emo and you're over the age of Eight, nineteen, or eighteen. Legal, make it legal. Just say legal. Hey, what's up? But I'm not gonna hate on them because they're different. They wear black makeup, uh, pale face, whatever. They're dressed in black. They love Halloween. Hey, I love Halloween too. Halloween's the best shit. I love my black people. I'm half black. I love my white people, and I'm half white. Oh, here's a, here's a link that everybody needs to check out about him. Yeah, and and one thing, uh, one, there it is. One thing is, I love my Latinos, I love my Muslims. I just can't hate. I'm one man that's not gonna hate on a minority because they're different. But it seems like people look. I've had. I've had a lot of people treat me like shit over my life. I've had white, I've, when I was growing up, I had white folks hate on me because my mother married a black man and my mother's white. And she had a black man's kids. I've had a white woman say in my face, I hate niggers and nigger lovers and nigger babies. I had a teacher whip my ass because I was not the right color. But that didn't stop me from loving white women and having white friends and having white family members and having black family members and so on and so forth. That didn't stop me from loving another minority. And that's how it goes. This is how the story goes. And apparently, according to his website, he lives in a trailer park in Panama City, Florida and he travels around preaching in his RV with his family and he apparently does not have a real job. Oh, and he's here. Got six kids. Like the Bible says, a man that doesn't work doesn't eat. And like I feel people that lives in the trailer, trailer park. It says James Lindman is with Truth Baptist Church in Panama City, Florida. That church supported Heritage Academy, where severe, bloody beating and abuse of troubled youth occurred. Yeah. See, I'm telling you, man, this, he gives a new name to Trailer Park, but I don't hate people that live in the Trailer Park. I have friends that live in the Trailer Park. Hey, I was born in, well, I was born in Trailer Park, but I was raised in Trailer Park for half of my life. Yeah. And I turned out okay. Yeah, I don't hate people. Like, that's all I'm saying. That's like, it's, 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 it's like, yes, it's like, people that live in the Trailer Park caught a bad name. People in the ghetto caught a bad name. But when it comes down to it, man, he's giving people that live in the trailer park a very bad name. He gives love a bad name. No, he gives he no, he gives people that go to church a bad name. He gives people who believes in God a bad name. He believe he gives religion a bad name. Man, that's how that is. That's scary. He is crazy. He look like a best of pitch cabrone. He He's like, Kukui. He's a Kukui. He's a Kukui. And I cannot, everybody's like talking about, oh, he has on Facebook. All right, I have yet to find his, a Facebook. I haven't page. seen, me and my homegirl, Sadistic, haven't found his Facebook or his wife's Facebook. And how I found out about him was through this girl that I um, subscribed to on 
subscribe on YouTube. That's what she's trying to say. But <laughs> lonely goth girl. That's lonely. how I She it. found out, but through the user, lonely goth girl, and I think she kind of fine too. She fine too, man. She's like, hey, what's up, mommy? Woo -woo -woo -woo. You want some wookie in you? All right, then. And that's how it is, man. We can tell it like the T I E S T T T T T I E S. Don't check a don't bound down. Jump, 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 jump. Like I love God, but I ain't gonna love him that much. I love God, but you know seriously, that. if a God hated all races, then why did He make blacks and Hispanics and Japanese and Hawaiian people? Yeah. Answer that. God separated us for a reason. God made blacks. God made whites. God made Hawaiians. God made Indians. God made Muslims. God made Chinese and Japanese and Arabics and Pakistanians and Australians and British and. His mama should have boarded for his ass. I, like I said before in other videos, out of uh, a million sperms, this motherfucker got through. I, if I was his parents, I'd be so embarrassed. Now, if I was his parents, I would have beat the shit out of him, gave him up for adoption. But it's how it goes, man. Can't do nothing about it. We gotta live with. If when we post, when I post the link in the uh, no, the, the, the description box, go to his page and report his ass. Get through nothing. Every time he puts up a new channel, take it down. Take his shit down. You know, hey, he's got his own. Children picketing. His own children. Own damn children. Ask the kids, oh, what's two plus two? They probably say, I don't know. Who's the first person on the slate? I don't know, my daddy, what? Biblephobia has got to go. His wife has a sign. Bible has to go, yeah. Biblephobia has to go. Now, dumbass people like James Lemon. Lynchman, he should be lynched. Yeah. <laughs> Girl, I think some people, I think some shit should have should have stuck around. I guess they should have kept the gallows. That's one thing. If you know what a gallows. Throw his ass in the ghetto and see what fucking happens. Girl, he wouldn't even last a damn day in the ghetto. That's what I'm saying. He gets shanked in a fucking heartbeat. Nah, he would have been shot. Fuck the shanking shit. They would have shot his ass. <laughs> They would have killed his wife too. I'm telling me. Well, you, hey, it's not his wife. Well, it's her fault that she's staying with him. Yeah, like. Crazy look, ass, but. look, man, it's like this. Yes, to me, she knew what she was getting into when she was paying attention to him. Why did you marry this man? Why did you? Maybe have, he wasn't like that when they uh, were dating and first got married. If he was, if he wasn't like that when they first met and married, and now he changed. Why did people, people people cover up shit like um, wife beaters? Yeah. They don't act like like my ex husband didn't hit shit on me until a year after we were married. Yeah. See what I'm saying? So, yeah. People can hide their dark dark secrets. Their dirty laundry. Yeah. yeah like they yeah. say, like they say in the Bible, whatever's in the dark comes to the light. I think. Yeah. I think his parents beat his ass to to a point. I think that, that's what I think that his parents beat the shit out of him to a point. And now I think he should have got his ass from a long time ago. Yeah, I wish some of the like preach. I wish some preachers, some uh, bat, uh, some preachers, some bishops, some. Fathers, like, you know, the guy, the man that wears the little thing around the neck, the collars. Mm -hmm. I wish a bunch on, even the Cardinals that works with the Pope, even the fucking Pope, just come around and just make a big ass circle around him. They all got the Bible in their hand, and the Pope's got his staff in his hand, and they start beating the shit out of him, saying, You did not curse God like this. You did not curse. I rebuke you in the name of the Lord. Just throw some fucking holy water. Be like gasoline, let them go. That's why I think. I want, why are not none of these people that believes in religion? They should get, like I said, get some cardinals, get some preachers, get some fathers, get some bishops, get some uh, the pope, get some rabbis, 
get some Muslim teachers, get some all the like all the preachers that's in every religion just gang up on him and just start beating him with the Bibles, the Qurans, everything, just to not, just to tell him you do not curse God with this kind of talk. You do not. When you curse God with that kind of talk, you're actually condemning God to hell. You is you is putting words in God's mouth. You is putting words in God's mind. Because God does not speak like that. We don't know what God thinks about. But we know he's not going to sit there and say, Hey, go tell everybody you hate niggers and beaners and shit. He's not going to say that. He's going to say, Bless people with great knowledge. Bless people with good knowledge. Not bless people with stupid ass knowledge that he is spitting out his mouth. Cause God don't do, cause you, you just don't do that. God oh, said, his wife he will too. Yeah. Lori Lyman. Yeah. Lyman. Lyman. I mean, what? The Bible says, "Love thy neighbor," which means love everybody. It doesn't say hate thy neighbor. It doesn't say go over there and kill your neighbor, come back home and say, "I was just reading the Bible." You got blood all over your clothes. It doesn't say that in the Bible. It says, love thy person. That means you say, good morning, bless you, have a great, wonderful day. And you go on. You do not say, fuck you, you're on burning hell, God hates you because you're whatever. You do not do that. That is not the Christian way. Christians have their own race, different. Same with Baptists. And that's how it is. Well, you got any last words to say, Miss Sadistic? James, the preacher man, a.k.a. Exposing the Cult, a.k.a. Uh, James Lyman, a.k.a. A false gospel mocker. And a.k.a. dumb motherfucking uh, big nose fat fuck. A.k.a. Listen. Here, I'm a woman. I can do whatever the fuck I want. And if I ever come across you, I will gladly spit in your fucking face and knock your fucking teeth out. I'm telling you. You know what? You people like me don't tell me what the fuck to do. Yeah. I'm fuck with me, motherfucker. I'm, I'm a cough. I'm a dyke. I have short hair. I have piercings and tattoos. Come at me, bro. Come at me. I dare you. And I'm going to say this. He is a dick and a booty ass. The second thing is, even the hate group wouldn't take his ass in. KKK wouldn't even fucking take him in. Yeah, they'd be like, uh, it'd be kind of funny wearing the bed sheets and all, because I want to join. It's like, nah, nah, a bad name, dude. We don't need you. Skinheads can turn them down. No, nah, no, nah, we already got a bad name. We got a swastika. You got a swastika cross. We don't. I found the video about him talking about women, about how they should shoes and clean floors and stuff. Yeah, and like I said, man, I'm put the the script. I'm put the video in the description box. His YouTube channel, everything, and that's yeah, how. Yeah, have a luck finding his Facebook. So. Yeah, have a good look. So, we got any last word before we go out? Fuck you, James Lindman. And put Lyman, dumb motherfucker who uh, apparently likes to take it up the ass. Why don't you shove your false Bible up your fucking ass? Because apparently you're not reading the correct one. Yeah. And all I gotta say is, why don't you put the dick out your ass and grow up and grow up hair? And I'm sorry, Brian Pulse. Pulse? Is that his name? No I'm idea. sorry that you got a, a double ganger that spits out hatred for people. I know you're a good actor, but you got a, ha a hateful twin. Everybody like to say everybody's got like a twin brother, twin sibling that's evil. That's mm -hmm. your that's Brian the act the actor Brian Poss to evil twin. <laughs> that's the evil twin right there. Look at him. He looks just like him. Evil twin. Oh, and if anyone knows if he, of his um, Facebook or Twitter, feel free to leave it in the comment section so yeah. 
Yeah, and I would love to get some video responses from people who are like I would love to get video responses from gays, goth, emo, women, straight men, gay men, lesbian, straight women, whatever. Because I want to know what you thinking, what you think about this guy. That's what I want to know. Video response, comments, that's what I want. I want to know what you think about this topic and this motherfucker on the screen. Damn, I feel bad for James Holmes having the same name as you. And he killed a bunch of fucking people. Who? James Holmes. Yeah, James Holmes. I feel bad I for... Feel, yeah, that's what I said. I feel bad for him having the same name as you. I mean, I don't condone and support what he did, but... God damn. I feel bad for anybody with a name like... I feel... Well, I've got an uncle. Thank God my son is not named James. Uh, I'm not male. My name's not James. Anyone that has the name James, change it. Quickly. <laughs> if your last <laughs> name is Lyman, Lyman, I feel bad because every time I hear that, see that name, it reminds me of Frank and Lyman. Uh, he's a singer back in the day. He sung that song, Why Do Fools Fall in Love? Oh. Well, this has been Afro Joe 10, like a TA is. Yes, it is. And we always tell the truth because the truth, like truth, uh, like our, or what's that dude? Our truth from wrestling says the truth shall set you free with little Jimmy. And that's how it is. Peace, love, and Afro grease. Holla.